Today, we're going to be going over coding exercise 18 of the Colt Steel Web Developer Bootcamp on Udemy. So this one's going to be about string methods. Um, we're going to be doing a little practice here. It looks like you guys just went over a little eight minute tutorial on that. So let's read the instructions and get this done. All right, so let's get some practice working with string methods. I provided you with a variable in the index, blah, blah, blah. It's called message, perfect without altering the original value stored in the message. So that means don't touch this line, which <laughs> they're pretty obvious about. Uh, <clears throat> please define a variable called whisper. So let's do, all right, define a variable called whisper. All right, um, and then um, uh, make whisper the lower cased version of the message variable. All right. And remove all the white space at the beginning and end of the string. All right, and then it says, you will need to use two string methods that we just covered. Don't forget, you can chain them together on a single line. So um, if you guys remember, awesome. Um, but I'm going to pretend that we didn't remember. Um, again, you know, people have things to do. So, you know, you watch a, a lecture, you go have dinner, you go to your job, you go drop the kids off somewhere, you drop your wife off somewhere, you drop your husband off somewhere, your boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, lover, whatever. And you come back and you're like, oh crap, what string methods did they teach us? Now, you 100% can go back and rewatch that video, um, but I would just start Googling it because that's the job. Googling is the job. So, um, all right, so lowercase version. So again, oh, sorry, this is still from the last one. All right, uh, lowercase string JavaScript. So when you're searching, people want, uh, you know, people think that the more detail you give, the better result, and that's not always the case. Um, Google's really, really good, but, uh, you know, kind of just pick out keywords, right? So we have a variable, we want to lower, well, I sh we have a variable, but it's a string, and we want to lowercase it, and we're using JavaScript. So lowercase string JS. Okay, awesome. So we got these two again. <clears throat> okay, and okay, well, I mean, it's pretty straightforward and it's nice because this is exactly what we're looking for. So we have this variable and then we're going to call this. So I'm actually just going to copy these and we're going to go in here, go into our, our console. Once we get into some of the bigger ones, I like to use um, a site like Replit or JSBin or JSFiddle, but for these, these kind of small ones, um, I'll do them up here. So let's just do, um, and actually let's copy this guy and we're going to do that. And then, all right, let's see. All right. Well, I guess we just keep it at results and then that will be message and let's see what we get. So what is result? Okay, cool. So we have this capitalized taste the rainbow. We now have it all lowercase, which is what we want, but we still have all the white space around there. Okay. Um, okay, so cool. So this one worked. So awesome. Um, pretty straightforward. Let's see what the MDN docs look like. And this one was pretty straightforward as well. So, all right, perfect. So now remove white space. And I don't know, did they use that word? So um, they say with all the extra space at the beginning and end removed. So in most programming languages, that's just called white space. That does not include anything inside of the string. So like it does not include the space between remove and white space. It does not include the space between white space and string or string and JS. But if we had anything at the end, this is considered white space because it's just unnecessary. Um, so uh, yeah, so that, that's, uh, and you may not have known white space, but you know, you, you probably would have Googled and gotten closer or figured that out. So, 
Okay, so here's a Stack Overflow, which is nice, but let's see if we get anything else. So W3 Schools, okay, so let's do that. And I don't see an MDN, oh, there we go. All right. And awesome, so this is another really, really cool, really easy one, right? So we got that, and then we come here, we go, oh, cool. So another thing that we want to um, kind of think about, and it's not super relevant now because we're only working with strings, but once you start working with other data types, um, kind of notice this string prototype. What this means is this dot trim can only be called on a string. Now, I do want to bring up the fact that um, some of these methods are on multiple different data types. So just because you see trim on a string here doesn't mean it's not available somewhere else. Um, but for this instance, it's just a string. So like, um, what's one that's on? I think it's splice. Splice JS array. Yeah, so we have splice, which is on arrays. And then we also have oh a slice. So well at the end of the day is sometimes a couple sometimes these can be on multiple different types, but just something to kind of keep an eye out for. You're like, oh cool, this is a, an array. So let's say you had an array and you were trying to get rid of empty spots in your array. You would see string and you'd be like, oh, well, I can't really use trim on that. So let's see. Let's see if we get that trim array JS. And you'll see it just doesn't exist on an array. So it's only on, on strings. So that's just a little side tangent. But all right, so trim, we just call trim on the variable and it removes all the white space. So cool. All right, so let's just do, um, and we'll just, this is just to make sure that it's it's working. We'll just do A, A, A. And we'll do message.trim. And what is A, A, it's taste the rainbow, but it's not lowercase. So we've done one of the things, we now need to do two of the things. And so um, they give you a little hint here, you can chain them together. I don't know what chaining them together means. So let's find out. Um, chain methods together, JS. And medium article, um, I'm not saying don't go to medium articles because a lot of times the information is good, but just remember Medium articles can be created by anybody. So just because they're writing a post does not mean they're knowledgeable. Um, most of the people are, you know, it's, it's tough. It's tough to find bad information, especially for simple stuff like this. But just keep in mind that Medium, and my grandma could do a Medium post if she knew how, and she doesn't know how to program. So she could do a programming article, and she may not know anything about it. Um, yeah, OK. So I, I know what to look for, but like you, you can read through this and all, all it is, is, is just chaining them together means you can just do one right after the other, other after the other. So um, I don't really know how to teach that. I don't know how to explain it to you guys so that it makes sense. So that's why I'm going to go with, um, I just knew. And if you read the full article, you might have figured that out as well. So. <clears throat> Um, okay, so let's do we get a variable whisper, and we want it to be message with a lowercase. Oh, what was it? I already forgot. Lowercase js string. All right, it's two lowercase with the thing, so we'll do two lowercase, and then we want to do trim. And this should give us what we're looking for. So let's see if that's the case. So we got const message equals Oh, well, yeah, remember, remember what I was telling you guys about earlier? If, if you created it once, you got to switch to messages. And then let's do new message is going to be messages dot to lowercase and trim. And what do we get here? New message. And you'll see we have all the white space on either side removed, and we have it all lowercase.
so um, when you chain these together, um, sometimes the order matters. In this instance, it doesn't because they're doing two completely different things. So removing the white space and lower casing this don't interfere with each other at all. But sometimes these do need to be in order. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. So um, I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, if you didn't or have questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Um, otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.